Hello everyone. I am trying to think positively. I am not so happy about what happened in my life recently, which I don't know when I am going to post this. So as of now, I don't like what happened in my life recently. Or should I say, I don't like what is happening in my life now. Happened, happening, maybe, let's just say, okay, happening. Anyways, please pray for me. Uh, please pray for me. Anyways, to go on another topic. I prayed about something, prayed about something, and I truly, 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 truly believe God gave me the answer. I believe God gave me the answer through a person who seemingly don't serve him. And you may say, Kevin, how is that possible? So are you trying to tell me God can't use sinners? Are you trying to tell me the only people God can use is the righteous? No, 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 no. If you look in the Bible, God can use anyone. I believe there was an instance to where God used a donkey. So anyways, I prayed and God, I truly believe, God answered my prayer through I believe he is a Muslim. And I don't think he believes Jesus is the son of God. I think he believes in Allah. <laughs> Allah. Anyways, God answered my prayer, I believe. But at the same time, that person gave me trouble. So you may think inside of your mind in an earthly way. You may think inside of your mind. Whatever God gives you. It won't give you trouble. And I don't think that is true at all. Maybe some people aren't reading the Bible. What I asked God for, that person helped me. He truly did. But at the same time, he gave me trouble. So... I forget how everything was. Some things I remember, but um, I believe I was having thoughts of leaving that person alone. But at the same time, I believe I was thinking, I think that person is the answer to my prayers. So that person may be giving me a hard time, not all the time, it was at certain points. 
that person may be or that person was giving me a hard time but by me leaving that person alone i think that would have been rejecting the person that i believe god sent to me to answer my prayer i hope this is making sense i believe there are times we may pray to god for an answer god may use a person who don't even serve him to give you the answer you have been looking for. I remember I used to speak to a particular woman and at that time, uh, who knows if she was trying to serve God or not? I don't really know. Maybe, maybe not, who knows? Anyways, that woman <clears throat> i forget how everything was but she gave me a message that <laughs> i don't believe really originated from her i hope this is making sense she texted me something and i forget how she explained it i think she she said something like uh, something is coming to her mind or she feels uh, led or something to tell me something. And she gave me a message. That is, if I am thinking rightly, I don't think she would tell me things like that if you understand what I am trying to say. So, man. Please listen to what I am saying. You may have prayed to God for something. The answer to your prayer may have came to you in a way you did not expect, but because maybe you did not recognize it as an answer to your prayer, you may have, you may have thrown it away rejected the person or you know this person is giving me too much hard time so i am going to leave that person alone you may have thrown away so to speak the answer to your prayer i am trying to tell you now so I, so i believe what i was thinking when i was dealing with that man Yes, he was giving me a hard time, but by me cutting all connection with him, I believe I was thinking if I were to do that, that would be throwing away the answer to my prayer. So later on, he cut me off, <laughs> but I did not cut him off because I know what I prayed for and I am telling you like my prayer was answered through that Muslim. So God doesn't only use Christians. Please keep that in your mind. God doesn't only use Christians. He can use whomever, whoever I am telling you. So stop being narrow minded and look at the end result. Yes, this person is not God like, but I prayed to God for blah, 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 blah. And it seems like that person is answering my prayer it seems like god is answering my prayer through this person am i telling you to 
run to a witch and grab money from her? I am not saying that. Am I telling you to uh, go to a satanic temple and eat meat and stuff over there? I am not saying that. Am I telling you to... Um, we have to use wisdom now. We have to use wisdom. So don't do something foolish because of a need that you have. You have to use wisdom. I don't believe God is going to, how can I say this in the right way? God may test us, but I don't think God is going to, I don't know how to say it in the right way. So I don't really want to say it. Let me see. Okay, let me try. I don't think God will put us in a situation where we are forced to sin. Now, he may put us in a situation where we have an option to sin, but I don't believe he is going to place us in a situation where we are forced there's a difference. So when you pray, keep your eyes open. You may have reject opportunities that God probably set up for you. You may have an idea. Hmm. You may have an idea of how God is going to answer your prayers. But your ideas may be wrong. It may be wrong. So instead of, I guess, imagining how God is going to answer your prayers, keep your eyes open and see what is coming your way. And then if you have to pray about it to see if that is what God wants for you. Man, I hope this is making sense. Let me stop here, though. May God bless you.